Okay, if you got a little leak in your gas tank, uh, I have a little slight crack right through here. I've noticed a long time ago when I tried JB welding it up, JB weld does not work. As you can see, it's still dripping nasty gasoline down and out. So, what I went out and got is this kit right here. Gas tank repair kit. And it's a two-part putty. You just mix it together. And you guess you just smush it on there. So let's see how this stuff works. Hopefully it'll work better than the JB Weld, which did not work at all. Uh, what I'm using to clean the gas tank is just a normal sponge with some vinegar. I have just a little bit of vinegar in there. I might need more. And a couple of scrubbers in case I really need to get down and get, get in there and scrub some stuff off. Okay, so I'm just going to dab... Uh, my sponge in here, just get a little bit on there, you don't need a ton of it on there. And start scrubbing all this old nasty gas away. As you can see, it instantly starts coming clean. The vinegar works really good, you could use either kind of vinegar, this is distilled vinegar. I don't even use that much vinegar to clean this thing up. And if you want, you can wipe it down. And if you want, you can wipe it down with some water or something afterwards. I don't know if I'd recommend that because water might beat off the gas if there's any gas contaminant left on there. See how that? That's probably because this had water on it before, so... Uh, squeeze as much water out as you can if your pad art is moist so yeah you don't want to use water So now I'm going to try and take a knife or a pick of any kind and just kind of pry some of this old JB Weld off of here as much as I can. Some of it wants to stick real good and some of it doesn't and the parts that doesn't is the parts that's um, leaking through and coming over here and dripping or wherever it was dripping right here or right here. Okay, I finally got all the, most of this JB Weld off and I found where it's leaking at. It's leaking right here around the seal a little bit. Um, so if I can zoom in and show you when I clean it, see what it looks like. Now you can see it. See how it just turned color right there? I don't know if you see that on here, but that's just what happened. Right about there, it'll turn a different color. Let me try that again. This will make it dry. And as soon as I stop, 
starts pouring out right there. So that's where I'm going to apply some of uh, this stuff on it. See how good this works. Okay, now that you've uh, mushed all this stuff together properly, it says to clean the surface one last time and kind of just apply it on there, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. That one kind of stuck on there. I think that's all you have to do, maybe. It's just put that big, ugly chunk on there like that, huh? Let's see if that'll hold. Just kind of tap it in. That's holding good down. Okay, after you got it all tapped in there nice and you feel comfortable with that, um, I don't see it leaking out right now, so I'm going to leave it on there and hopefully that's good. Um, that was your gas tank repair kit for about five bucks at any local parts store and using vinegar to clean up everything and that's how you fix a gas tank.